Do you have tips for other parents? Um, yes, there's a few things we've learned along the way. Uh, the first thing I was told that I found very helpful was nobody has ever died from a cavernoma. Um, and that to me really put my mind at rest. Uh, obviously there are problems and disabilities associated, but there are no recorded figures of anybody dying. Um, we've also had a letter from our paediatrician uh, that just states his condition, because a lot of local hospitals and local GPs don't know anything about it. There seems to be just a few neurosurgeons that you know, know a lot about it. Um, and this letter states um, Fraser's condition, how many cavernomas he's got, what signs to look out for, uh, and what to do if he does seem to have a bleed. Um, and we've got copies of this that go there's, to there's his childcare. Is there also phone numbers on there that they can call for any further information that they need? Dad, no. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> <Stop me. laughs> <There is that. laughs> It's, it's okay, call, yeah, it yeah. says call the hospital. Go with that. So I think it's called 999. Yeah. Um, anyway, any other useful things? Sorry. No, so we've had a copy of this letter done and uh, we've given one to virtually everyone we know, haven't we? Yes. <laughs> so just in case there was any problems when Fraser's around, they would then know exactly uh, what to do with the, with the medical side of things. And I think as I've looked back on cavernoma lights initially, people get the diagnosis and they just panic. Whether they're a patient, whether they're a parent, it's just panic. Is this cancerous? Is the patient going to die? What are we going to do? How are we going to live with this? Um, and we went through all that. You, you know, we went to pieces for months. But eventually you do come through it and, you know, you do realise there is a life with cavernomas. And we see adults with cavernomas and we see children here with cavernomas. You know, and they are living a full active life, not without its ups and downs. But, you know, overall, from the initial diagnosis of it could have been a possible tumour or tumours, you know, probably a cavernoma could be a better diagnosis if you can say that. Mm. And, al and also uh, we, we were told that um, at least one person in every 600 has, has got a cavernoma, so there's a, a heck of a lot of people just living their life normally without even knowing that they've got one.